Now I want everybody to listen. Everyone look at me. Don't talk to dead people. There is not one day, I want everyone to listen to this, which God revealed to me. There is not one day or a single day when any person who was buried, who died, ever entered a coffin. No dead person enters a coffin. What you see in the coffin is soil. If your mother died, she never entered that coffin in even one second or one minute. When we shall all die, there is nobody who is going to enter the coffin. Because the real you is your soul and your spirit man. And the moment you die in a hospital in South Africa or in, in Harare, from that moment you then straight away go to hell if you were an unbeliever or if you had not received Jesus or you go to heaven. If you, have, if you had received Jesus. Nobody ever entered a coffin. When I received that revelation, it delivered me. It freed me so that we are, we are just left with the soil. That thing that we worship and some of you bowing to it. Chief frame which is soil. It's a soil frame that we are just going to bury. There is no ma Your mother will not be in that coffin. Your brother will not be in that coffin. You Christians, you must wake up and be mature, you children of God. Don't be ignorant. There is no human being that enters a coffin. So at that moment when you are now talking to that soil, you are now triggering demonic spirits of death upon your life. Because in that realm of grave sites, there is no human being that is on those grave sites. Those cemeteries that you are seeing, they are It's soil. It ended in, their, in the hospitals where they died, in the houses where they died. That's where, that is their departure point. When this happened when I had a heart attack. My spirit was going. So the, if, I was, if I had died, I, I, because I was not, I, there was no way, there, there is no way that people can come and explain these things to us. So that's why I am explaining to you. Because I noticed your spirit just comes out. Your soul comes out it, from that word in the hospital or from your house, or from your bed, wherever a person dies, that is their departure point to hell or to heaven. So when the police comes to collect a body or all people, that is now soil. Because remember, when God formed the man, he just took soil. And it was dead, it was lying there, and then he breathed the human beings into that. That is how Adam was created. So Adam was not that soil. Your father is not that soil. That's why after three, four, five days when you go, that thing is bursting waters. And if you come back after six months, it's now just soil. And you only see bones that are there. But what we, do we do because of ignorance? We start to go and talk to those graves. And we get demons. There is nothing called a ghost Akuna, there is nothing like that. A ghost, now let me define, a ghost is a familiar spirit that was following a man when he was still alive. All of you here, before you were born again, you have got familiar spirits, it's demons that study you. And when you die, those demons, they take your shape and they can speak like you. Because they have been following you forever. It's there in the book of Samuel. And a familiar spirit of Samuel came. And, and, and Saul was trying to call Samuel back. And God rebuked him and he said, no. There is no way he can come back. 
This is a familiar spirit, an unfamiliar spirit, or a familiar spirit that has come, which was talking like Samuel, which was looking like Samuel. Demons have got power to lift sofas and put them outside. You can come to your house, you see a human being sitting on a sofa, and it's a demon that has taken the shape of your father. That's why even journalists from Chronicle in Blawayo here, they know Prophet Chisa has delivered the haunted houses because of this knowledge. How do I check out those things that they call ghosts? I don't need to go and pray for those houses. I will pray whilst I'm eating my food, and even with food in my mouth, just put your, your phone on loudspeaker on those walls, and I will rebuke that, that demon. Because I know it's not a ghost. It's a ghost, it's a name that you give it. There are demons that, has, that studied us for a long time. When you are born, every human being, the, whenever you are born, the kingdom of the devil assigns a familiar spirit, which is a demon, that follows you to study you. And when you die, those demons have nowhere to go. So they are the ones that stay in the graveyards there. That's why when you go to all graveyards, you will see there will be a mentally ill person that will be there in the gravesides. Three or five. Every gravesite has got mental ill people or mad people around. Because the demons are not allowed when they come out of the body of a dead person to linger around without bodies. They have to look for a body. So they have to look for one or two, three people whom they can enter. That is why legion in the Bible who used to stay by the gravesides had many demons, a legion of demons. Because those demons of all the people that are dying there, they have nowhere to go. So they have to enter that man. They have to enter those mad people that are by the gravesides because they are looking for flesh for human bodies to possess. So your culture, you were taught that you can speak to the, to the flesh, to the soil, you can... No, 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 no. <laughs> you are wasting your time. Those people know nothing. It's either they are burning in hell and they will never come. Even if you kill a person today, what comes? It's curses. Demons know the word. That when you kill someone, you get cursed and they must torment you. So we are not going those vengeful spirits, it is demons that are punishing someone because he killed. And they can give you mental illness and you start to talk to yourself, running naked in the streets, because it's a curse that comes because you killed somebody. But it's not that person that you killed that is tormenting you. So if we know how to separate these two, we will not be confused. Don't go and talk to a grave and say, Mama, I miss you so much. Uh, you left trouble. Why did you leave us, Mama? People are troubling us. They now want to take out the house that you left for us. Once you are doing that, now listen very well. Once you are doing that, because you are doing it out of ignorance, what shows up in your life? It's not your mom. You can actually start to dream your mother after that. And there are demonic spirits that starts to follow you and you'll be thinking it's your mom. There is a young man that you see here. Yeah, can you run here? Can you run? Because his mom died. They took him to the grave and they made him to talk there. And from that moment, I, he started experiencing suicidal thoughts. Father, I now pray for this young man because I know they were making him to talk, thinking he's talking to his mom, but demons were coming, oh Lord. I now deliver this young man and rebuke those familiar spirits that entered him on the grave of his mom. Come out! 
in Jesus' name. The familiar spirits that came on this young man when he was taken to his grandmother's grave in Mapisa. Oh Lord, and the uncles, they were talking and calling the dead. I know the dead know nothing, and they have no share on earth. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out right now. Rakashaka timang and I now rebuke the power. 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 I now I just want one, one Asha. I rebuke the power. I rebuke the power. Now, are you seeing already? I'm just demonstrating something because sometimes when you teach, you have to demonstrate. Not knowing already, you are now dedicating your children to demons. And can you even see, this is not normal. If the mother had come old, the mother <laughs> make him to, to, to do like this on his head, to be on his head, on the floor like This is the ignorance of Africa. This is why we are where we are today, poor, because we have no knowledge. And some of you, you argue with me and say, hey, is that terrorist? Not our one, a prophet. We don't listen. We do what our relatives say. Yet I'm reading the word of God and showing you that God says these things. When God says they are an abomination, it's an abomination. And these spirits, they want us to die poor. They want you to kill yourself so that you die. And this young man has now been running away from home from that moment when they did the unveiling of the tombstone. And he was made to cut the ribbon. And he came like nothing has happened. And they are now ignorant pastors, especially from mainline churches, who also come with their gowns to help people to do those things. Because I am a prophet, I see in the spirit and I know these things. I know that you, no one comes back. When we backslide, you will see, you will not come back. <laughs> Even when we pray, you will not come back. If you go to heaven, there is no way we can talk to people in heaven. They don't even see us. We are two worlds apart. Don't even say our mom is watching us in heaven. It's not biblical. So this is some of the things that we are talking about. I now rebuke you, familiar spirits. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out of this young man. I break your powers from today. Come out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of his body. Lose him. All the sicknesses that were now affecting this young man. I now rebuke them. Come out. Power of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord, my God, I'm now pulling out every power in the mighty name of Jesus, of familiar spirits that he received from the gravesides. I pull you out in Jesus. Stand up. I command. Stand up, right? Take him to his seat. All right. I can go in one by one calling all of you who were involved in this talking of the dead. 